Hi guys and welcome to this. It's kind of a bunker hobby tip, but it's um, an explanation as to how I have been doing my sea bases for Kings of War Armada. And it's a really sort of simple technique. It's based on a really good product. And it's, um, yeah, the results are nice, simple, straightforward, easy enough. And it's all using this stuff. AK Interactive Water Gel Atlantic Blue Diorama. Um, from AK Interactive, it's a really good product, and I'm gonna do a basic down top down video. So, obviously, you can get to this stage, and you might want to add some sort of like wash and spray and so on and so forth onto them. Um, but I thought we would do a quick video to show you what the product does. And I have three bases one's black, one I've just sort of stippled with white to give it some undulation, and then one I've done with blue and a bit of white as well over the top. So, without further ado, let's uh, let's apply the gel okay so the gel itself comes in a tub and it is literally like a paste okay and it dries translucent not clear with a blue tinge to it and I'm going to use a spatula to apply it to the bases and we'll do the the black one first and the way it works guys is you literally just just apply it down okay and move it around obviously there's a hole in this base but it's just for the purposes of demonstration shall I speak and it's about two to three mil thick gives us that effect and I'm gonna tap down just to apply some waves okay second base exactly the same over the top of this one applying a layer to the top Nice even coat, and then I'm just peeking it in certain areas just to give it that sort of water look to it. Okay, third base doing exactly the same thing. This is the one with a bit of blue and a bit of white sort of stippling on it. And again, I'm just applying it down with the flat edge of my spatula. Just making a few sort of wave effects. Okay, the other side as well. Okay, and I'm just putting it down and lifting it up. Just make it look a bit more watery. And there we go. Now I'm going to leave those to dry. The drying time on the product tight. I leave them overnight and uh, see what happens. So. With the magic of YouTube, it'll be a few seconds for you, um, but it'll be overnight for me. So let's see how they dry up. Okay, so it's been an evening of drying and uh, the product's ready. So it dries hard and clear. So the first base, which was just black, you can see the sort of water effect on there. And uh, it's obviously a darker, bluer tinge. So that'd be like deep water, things like that. The base that had a stippling of white obviously has a more of a sort of greener sort of finish to it. And then the one that was blue with a bit of stippling of white again has got more of a, a colour variation underneath it. But again, looks like it's water. So you can build this up as well. So you could put another layer on there if you want to do waves and so on and so forth on it. And um, on my ships for Kings of War Armada, I've built it a bit up a bit around the edges and the sides and then at the front of the base. And I'm going to put some foam on there to make it look like it's crashing through the waves. And that's a darker sort of base coat so to speak so yeah brilliant product really happy with it i think it's uh it's well worth looking at and then you get absolutely loads of it in the pot <laughs> so more than enough for any uh ships but i'm going to do some islands and some uh, some rock formations things like that so yeah hope you enjoyed the video guys quick um explanation and show off of the uh, ak interactive water gel atlantic blue uh, please ask any questions leave any comments for your your methods anything you do for for water in your uh dioramas and miniatures um, as always, stay well. Uh, please subscribe. It does mean an awful lot to me and uh, keeps me going. And uh, yeah, happy hobbying.